Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I previously did a video with some new pouring paints. These are Little Birdie acrylic pouring paints. And I mixed them with the Little Birdie pouring medium. Um, this is just an awesome site that I recently found. I got a whole bunch of mixed media products from them as well. So lots of fun mixed media videos coming up soon. But I did a video with a tree ring with these paints, and this is the dry version, but it had these really crazy cell and lacing effects on here. So I wanted to try it with a flip cup, and that's what we're doing today. And the colors I'm using are purple, green, white, and then my leftover paint from the previous video. So there's a little bit of orange, black, and blue in here. And I'm doing once again a 9 by 12 canvas. So all of these paints I mixed with the pouring medium about 50-50. And then um, some of them I had to add a little bit of water because they are different consistencies throughout the paint. So anyways, we're just going to get these all poured in here. And then, like I said, we're going to do a flip cup with this. And I'm thinking if the same thing that happened in the previous video happens, we're going to have some pretty crazy cell production. Kind of wish I had mixed up a little black, but oh well. All right. A little more. Okay, good. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this and... See what happens. Oops. Okay. Now I like to let it kind of settle for a minute so the paint has time to kind of come down. So we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Woohoohoo! Look at that. Oh my gosh. So this is there's no silicone or anything in here, you guys. So um, this is only my second time trying this paint and pouring medium, but it seems like if you have previously had trouble getting cells, look at even the cup, um, this paint might just be perfect for you. Might not be, I don't know. Anyways, so let's go ahead and tilt. Hopefully we get to keep a lot of those cells. I like the blue and the black over here. So far, so good. And I think we'll have, we already have more cells developing over there. Just trying to get these spots without tilting it too much more. Okay. A little more. Good. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to let this sit for a little while and let's see what develops and then we'll do our close up. Okay guys, so I let it sit here probably like five to eight minutes. So you can see these green just also a bit over here with the purple and white. This is really cool. I like this. Um, yeah, so very interesting and the purple I did definitely mix water with it was heavier so that could be contributing to the green cells not exactly sure on the science in that but really cool let's go ahead and do our close-up okay lower right hand corner as you can see some interesting effects there with that line and then going up we got that really cool, really cool cells in there. And the upper left hand corner, also really cool. Some kind of funky lacing in there. And then down to the lower left hand corner where you can see more lacing with the white and more cells coming up. 
All right, guys. Well, that was fun. That was the flip cup technique. Please let me know in the comments what technique you would like to see me try next with this paint. I think on the next one I'll do warm colors. So yellow, red, maybe also the purple and stuff like that. And thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Oh, don't forget to check the uh, <laughs> don't forget to check the description, please, for all the materials. I promise you, they are there. Okay. All right. See y'all next time.